All the controls you need for a Zoom meeting are conveniently located across the top and bottom of your screen, both on a computer and on mobile devices. The controls disappear after a few seconds so they don't obscure your view. If you don't see the controls, simply move your mouse over the Zoom app and they will pop right back up. If you're using a smartphone or tablet, tap the screen to make the controls visible again. Zoom meetings use your camera and microphone so that others can see and hear you during an interactive class. You can turn off your camera and microphone at any time. At the bottom left, you'll see a microphone icon and camera icon. Clicking or tapping the microphone icon turns the microphone on or off. Clicking or tapping the camera button turns the camera on and off. A red diagonal bar across the icon indicates that the feature is turned off. Click the up arrow next to the icons to open a menu of options including selecting external cameras or microphones you may have plugged into your device. A great way to see if you are properly connected to your microphone and speakers is to click the up arrow next to the microphone button and select test speaker and microphone. Follow the instructions to select and test your options. On a computer, you can choose to show Zoom as a full-size window or a smaller window. Click Enter Full Screen or Exit Full Screen to switch between the two views. You can also use the Escape key to exit a full-size window. You can change views of the participants in a Zoom meeting. To see as many participants as possible in a grid, choose Gallery View. Gallery View places everyone's video in a grid and highlights the speaker in yellow. If you want to concentrate more on who is speaking, choose Speaker View. Speaker View highlights the speaker with a large window, switching back and forth as different people speak. You can also choose a single video to enlarge on the screen. Right-click a thumbnail video and choose Pin Video. Once you pin a video, it will remain large and centered on your screen. If you are using a smartphone or tablet, swipe left or right to change your view between gallery view and speaker view. If you have lots of people in a meeting, you may have to swipe through several pages of galleries. Part of the fun of online learning is chatting with classmates and the instructor. Here's how to open the chat window. If you're on a computer, click the chat button in your toolbar. That will open the chat window on the right hand side. Type your message in the box, select the audience, and press the enter key to send the message. To open chat on a mobile device, tap the more button. That's the button with three little dots. And then select chat. You may also see buttons for reactions, feedback, or polls. Your instructor may ask you to use them to participate in class. As with many things in Zoom, your options will depend on your device and how the instructor has configured the meeting. We hope to see you soon in an Oasis Everywhere online class. Visit oasiseverywhere.org to learn more about upcoming live classes you can enjoy from wherever you may be. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.